Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we are going to be doing a hair tutorial. But before we start this hair tutorial, I want to give you just some information on hair and how to retain your length as you are doing all of your hairstyles. So right now my hair is out. I just took it down. It was in a puff since I last washed it. Last week I washed it, but I didn't comb. Like this is an undetangled hair. My hair has not been detangled. So this is the natural um, curl pattern of my hair. I'm going to do my hair routine again this week, uh, probably in the next couple of days. But I don't want to have it in a puff any longer, mainly because even though having your hair in a puff is a protective style, but if, do you ever notice whenever you are using hair ties or like a a scrunchie that's in your hair a lot of times when you take it out you'll see hair come out even though having your hair in a puff a high puff is a protective style having it in a pineapple using hair ties definitely is a protective style but I would call this your last resort protective style when I first started being natural in my hair I discovered that my hair can get in this amazing puff that's all I did was puffs <laughs> I had increased hair breakage because it was constantly in a hair puff. You'll want to instead find another protective style that you can use while your hair is, is out. That's what I'm going to show you today is one of my favorite protective styles, something that is for someone who if you don't know how to cornrow your hair, this is a great alternative two cornrows yes let's get started so first make sure that your hair has a middle part in it to do this style so it's basically here I just want to clean it up just a little bit let's get this part out of the way spray your hair with water I'm gonna spray it and get it pretty moisturized and damp I have not Detangled my hair. I'm going to have to detangle this <laughs> This whole thing. I'm gonna have to detangle it before I do anything to it. Okay, so my hair is drenched So let me put some product in it Okay, so I've already started to detangle and I just kind of wanted to show you my method of detangling because this definitely helps you to reduce the amount of hair loss and breakage during your detangling process. As I was detangling, I'm doing little sections, and then after I'm done with that section, then I am just twisting it up. I'm spray some more water into the section because it got kind of dry. I'm pumping some leave-in conditioner. Putting that on my hair. Tea tree oil. I'm putting that on my hair. So now that my hair is fully saturated. I start with my comb and I do it from the bottom of my hair and I do it really gently because it prevents it from tangling any further than it already is. Now if I get like a knot like what I have right here, I just use my fingers and pull it apart. So it's okay to sometimes even finger to tangle. So if you have really rough hair, like if you have 4B, 4C hair, I would say even not even using a comb at first, but just use your hands and kind of utilize it like a comb and just gently pull apart the hair. It makes it a whole lot easier to comb it after you do this. Cause see, look, like my hair it is like going through the hair then I just take that section and I twist it let me finish detangling the rest of this hair and I'll be right back okay so I'm done detangling and I have everything in twists now if you do your twist 
a whole lot neater because obviously I didn't part at all. I just took <laughs> I just took my hand and did it. But if you wanted to use twist as a protective style, which I do this all the time actually, you could do that. You can make sure you just make your parts neater by using your your comb and parting your hair. You could wear this as a protective style and wear this for you know weeks that definitely helps save let me show you something else another style because i don't want to be walking around looking like felicia from friday <laughs> all right so now what i will do is brush my hair because i want to make sure that everything is laying pretty well so i want my edges to look good. I'm going to get some gel. Just put a little bit of this light gel onto my edges. Just take your finger and part near the front of the part that you have here in the middle. And then you'll hold that piece with this hand, or one hand. Now you'll use your free hand and part and part your hair and now what you'll want to do is take this front piece and cross it this way so you'll want to move away away from your face okay so now you'll take the hair and you'll put it in between one of the last three fingers so from your middle your ring and your pinky finger you'll hold the hair and you'll leave your pointer finger and your thumb you leave it free because what you're going to do is take that hair and hold it with your pointer and your thumb and so you'll have your hand free to part You'll join this parted hair with the hair that is in between your thumb and your pointer. And now you'll move in the same direction that you did from before, which is away from your face. Give up my light, take up my cross, I got no problem with that. And when I don't know what to do, I go to God with that. There's still some things I hold on to, but he won't need everything. Yeah, I know you are the son, but I won't let him rain. But it's mandatory if I'm gonna stand before him. But my flesh won't the shine, he won't that end the glory. And that is so selfish, I'm working on trying to be selfless. Yeah, I'm working on Okay, now you will finish twisting the ends of your hair what was wrong with you kiss this like i look ooh fit with the lord is knowledge feel like i'm at harvest school i believe i'm sure for the lord okay perfect so this is what it looks like god was a pool of love i'm going in it's like a job of tea i'm living for your love you part the front part get another part right here so now that you have your part you want to twist in the opposite direction of what you were twisting on the other side away from my face is going this way this time so that is how I am going to twist still away from my face but last time away from my face last time it was Clockwise. Now it is counterclockwise. The king with the harp in the middle of the desert to be wicked and filthy rich. Was a prodigal son, now I'm rich and rich. I'm black and powerful like 1966 Panther Party. I say no to vodka and Bacardi. Married life, so I don't talk to Barbies. Proof of Jesus, yeah, we act some gnarly. Three dreadheads like Bobby Marley and one fresh queen like Amber Crombie. Three. Okay, and now I am twisting the rest of my hair. So, this is it. So, it's a 
great alternative to doing cornrows in your hair. It's essentially the same idea as cornrows except for their twists. This is what people call flat twists. Um, and so it just lays in the front of your hair and if you want to be extra safe and tuck in your ends, you instead of wearing it like this, you can pin it back. I'm just going to use my little crocodile alligator clip. This is what it looks like. This is what the hair looks like when you pin it up. So it has a very professional a very professional look to it. That is why I love it, is because you can kind of wear this anywhere and it will look very, very cute. So I love this hairstyle because it helps me reduce hair loss and hair breakage. Your main objective to growing your hair is not necessarily what is happening at your roots or trying to speed up your hair growth process but it is retaining your length if you have any questions for me on aloe or rice water or anything else oils that i use products that i use please leave all those questions in the comment section and i'll make sure to answer them for you Whenever I'm on yeah. camera, all I'm saying is I call on dead with scripture. I keep a lot of them like one more.